I'll tell you what, from a marketing standpoint, you'll get a whole lot more attention. I think you'll get worldwide press if you say, oh, here's a company that's dropping BTC in favor of BCH due to the high fees and slow confirmation times. Like, obviously, some of the BTC fans will be angry about that, but none of them are using their BTC to buy anything anyhow, so they weren't going to be your customers to begin with anyhow. People like to make jokes about how Bitcoin isn't for people that make less than $2 a day. Bitcoin is for everybody. So main idea of our project Actually, we would like to have a hundred percent acceptance of the cryptocurrency, right? Um, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like because, that goal. Um, so, main idea is that actually, whole transaction, the process is done with the fiat, not the cryptocurrency. But we are the a kind of medium body. Who changed from crypto? To you sit in fiat. the middle. Yeah. Yes, yeah, in the middle. We are a medium body. There's a few jet server. The issuer, we call that authentication forwarding. They ask us to uh, approval of the transaction. That happens in real time as yeah, the person's yeah, at the exactly, merchant? Exactly, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then uh, we uh, talk to the A. To the exchange, do you have enough money in yeah. this person's account? And if they say yes, right. then you say, okay, authorize it. User one, okay. we do have a um, private API integration with the exchange. Okay. So um, there's a user one, and there will be another account. User. Use X code protocol, right? Okay. So we simply, this is user one, then we simply check the balance of the user one way. So more whether, or less than what he's trying to say. Exactly the like, equivalent amount of the cryptocurrency in their pocket. Right? Okay. Then if that's okay, then we will transfer from the usual one account uh, to our private account, right? Then we will give a kind of pre authorized to the uh, issuer, okay, there will be no problem about the transaction, say yes. Then they said, okay, because we already give them approval, they will just complete the transaction. So that, that's more like a real time. Okay. But in here, actually, we do have a prepaid, uh, prepaid corporate account here. So that's already been prepaid. Um, based, actually, we do have some kind of formula, right? The how many is the like a user pool and what will be the daily limit, things like that. So we already put the money inside. So uh, they are leveraging this fund to make the things possible, okay. to make sure everything's okay. So uh, that's how it works. Got it. Yeah, crypt very crypto friendly card from that perspective. So um, the big, big question and the big <clears throat> bottleneck for you. Uh, you have an issuer that's ready to issue cards and plug into Correct. your API and exactly. and. and, and how soon were you ready to have like some internal or external testing of people with some cards? And um, internal test will be done by end of this month. Okay. Um, external test will be within a Q3 with targeting. And two or three uh, months? Yeah, two or three months. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe we can launch this product after that. I understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, just fine with helping collect all the you know KYC AML documents for people that want the cards. Like if you plug into an exchange with Bitcoin Cash, I'm more than happy to figure out a way to leverage Bitcoin.com as a, a platform to market your card and get it out there. And, and Bitcoin Cash is the only requirement on that front. And would love to do some co-branding too, but even that's not required. Uh, even even if, if you're just plain to have the Bitcoin Cash support, uh, we'll still send a bunch of traffic your way. Because our main aim is to uh, the level of the people to use some more of our token, which is FXT, right? Tell me so, about your token. I don't know about your, uh, your token. We already completed our ICO and we okay. have our token code. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's right. That's right. No, you guys yeah, so um, actually, um, we actually sold out our hotcat, which is uh, like a 40,000 uh, either. Um, back in not bad, not bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah. So as a default token, we only having three. Um, different coin, so Ethereum, and I'm sorry, Bitcoin and Ethereum and FXT. So let's drop BTC and put BCH in there, because like if you're buying, if people are loading 20 bucks at a time, it doesn't make sense to have to pay a couple extra bucks for the transaction fees on there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah so that that's the reason why um, uh, maybe uh, with the Bitcoin Cash we may put you into our like a default coin. We would love, to, and we have just under 100 people full time at Bitcoin.com now. Uh, we'd love to be like the internal testers for you guys for the Bitcoin Cash part so we can help 
iron out all the bugs and then once, because yeah. all of us are gonna be super friendly and that's a decent size testing mm. group. Yeah. And then once all the bugs are ironed out and smooth, then we, we release mm. it to the public. So yeah. we'd love to, to help yeah, on that yeah, front. Yeah, 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 that's also a great challenge yeah. for us. Yeah. I'm, uh, sure, I'm sure you'd be eager to, to give it a try yourself in Japan. Absolutely. Yeah, and mm -hmm. everybody else here too. Also, I would like to uh, make some kind of like PR Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you better believe it. We're yeah, going to do yeah, yeah. big PR about yeah. it. Yeah. But not the time of the when we launching this cut. I would like to have it like a beforehand. Okay. So well, here's the other question. What do you guys think of having the PR say something along the lines of due to BTC having high fees and unreliable confirmation times, we're dropping BTC and adding BCH to the fuse card. Do you guys find with a press release like that? Uh, yeah. that's, the, that's kind of like a big decision. Yeah, it's a big decision, but let, let's think about it because yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, from a marketing standpoint, you'll get a whole lot more attention. I think you'll get worldwide press if you say, oh, here's a company that's dropping BTC in favor of BCH due to the high fees and slow confirmation times. Like, obviously some of the BTC fans will be angry about that, but none of them are using their BTC to buy anything anyhow, so they weren't gonna be your customers to begin with anyhow. Mm. And I think you can probably get even mainstream press to pick up on it. And of course, Bitcoin.com will promote it to the very best of our ability as well. And I think it, you know, what do they say? No, no publicity is bad publicity or something like that. So the biggest step is for you guys to get all of that built and working and then do some internal testing. And we're happy to help with the internal testing. Mm, that and, would be very nice. And then, and then we'll go from there. I think the meeting went fantastic. So uh, as you saw, they were uh, fans of cryptocurrencies being usable as currency. So, uh, and obviously that means Bitcoin Cash because it's usable as cash for the world. So uh, I think the meeting couldn't have really gone any better than it did. And I'm looking forward to signing the MOU with them and uh, moving full speed ahead to bring Bitcoin Cash uh, to the world even more than we already have it today. Yeah. Only one girl over there got real excited, but everybody else was okay. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Yeah, I got it, it's fine, yeah. Let's go, hello, annyeonghaseyo. Hey, David, how are you? <laughs> oh, jeez. I am okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. Yeah. So the reason why um, he wanted to have an interview with you today is because um, he and both uh, him and Korea Economic Daily are very much interested in uh, the convergence between uh, digital currency uh, like Bitcoin and the real estate world, which are right now not very much united. Not connected yet. Do you think there's any realistic possibility on Bitcoin Cash being a major payment method on buying buildings and houses? I think there's an absolute possibility that that can take place, yeah. Anybody that's tried to do a wire uh, to or from an escrow company or a large wire, it's a nightmare dealing with the banks to do that. Whereas Bitcoin Cash, you can send any amount of money anywhere in the world instantly, basically for free. Is it that quick? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's just as fast to send, you know, 1,000 won as it is to send, you know, 1,000 man won or so, I don't know, big, yeah. a big number of won. So <laughs> my biggest excitement about blockchain technology is payments. So Bitcoin Cash being used for payments. So maybe someday, maybe even this year, we'll see the first uh, real estate transaction happen for Bitcoin Cash in Korea. I think that's a, a real possibility. Uh, may, maybe I'll be one side of that transaction if someone, if there's a... Uh, a real estate agent out there that's interested in figuring out how to make it happen, maybe uh, maybe I'll have a place here in Korea, we'll see. Uh, real Estate Blockchain Expo. Oh. Okay, yeah. 20, let me check my calendar right now, maybe first, we first, yeah, first, first, yeah. first event. First one, mm -hmm. World first. September, September 19th to 21st. So I know that you're going to Georgia, but um, we can still work it out. Yes, so I can do day. like 19th for yeah, sure, the and, then, and then leave on the okay. 20th or something. So yeah. we'll just uh, set your speech on the yeah, 19th. So first 
Perfect. Like 9 a.m. in the morning, and then you make it. And I have to be uh, so I'd be be in Hong Kong on the 8th, 17th and 18th for another conference. Fly here. Okay. And then to Georgia. Okay. Maybe you can go to Georgia straight from here. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Yep. Okay. But if you look at the potential upside of cryptocurrencies becoming used around the world as a currency, it would also be foolish not to put some of your net worth into cryptocurrencies. And if you look amongst the cryptocurrencies, I think the one that's in a position to really get a lot of traction as a currency and usage as cash around the world is Bitcoin Cash. Uh, but again, don't put, if you're going to buy some cryptocurrencies, don't only buy Bitcoin Cash, buy a basket of cryptocurrencies. And don't put all of your net worth into cryptocurrencies because you might lose three quarters of it in the course of a week or two. Um, so hold a wide variety. Hold some stocks, hold some real estate, hold some digital currencies. Diversity is, is key. If you have a paywall on your website, make sure your paywall accepts digital currencies. Uh, there's a fantastic example of that on yours.org where anybody, including all of you in this room, can go and post an article and then you can charge for people to be able to view the rest of the article. Or you can post your article on another website, Steam it. And you can have people, the more people that like it and enjoy your article, the more digital currency you'll receive for that. So we're seeing digital currencies start to be used as currencies for online publishing and, and traditional businesses as well. So the answer is the same for everybody. Use digital currencies as currency. Use Bitcoin Cash as cash. You already have some of these. Sure, uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, well, I'm glad to see you do. Yeah, so sure. You have a little bit more here. One second. So <laughs> here we go. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. You want to join us for dinner too? Yeah, I have a phone call at 10 o'clock, so I don't, have, I don't have a lot of time. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, can you uh, take one more? Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you, nice.